it tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. A definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, a nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice strike landed there by Bermudez. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back in the clinch, let's see what he does now. And now he's got that tight hand. Look at how he drives the team right into his opponent's midsection. Taken down by the All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Right hand on point. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. They continue to exchange. Hook shot lands. Good right here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Nice head kick. Wow. Actually got it. Right a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, he's able to get him down there. Persistence, age, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the 
Bermudez has got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Big leg kick land. He's starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice strike. It up on the right there to no avail. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. What a body kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuff to take down, no problem. Choi's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Left hand punch into Clinton. Choi gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Knee to the body. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. He's hurt. So he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Bermudez is lower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Ten minutes in the books. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Right hand, he misses. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high, and I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, 
that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting oh, behind the edge. Look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the legs, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Under two minutes now to go. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, missed on that one. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Good stick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Able to check that kick as well. Beautiful. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. For yeah, you. where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. That was some Ready? serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Straight right hand, no good. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no six. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Circling towards the left now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Man. Oh, he's Whoa! Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. All right, close guard now. Joy going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound start. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Huge damage from that elbow. Straight right hand now, just misses. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Bermudez's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. 
Oh, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're... Oh! Lose her. Serve him up. Go get him. and a great performance by this young man. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done.